Matthew, welcome back for another SNFL report for round seven of the local competition. What stood out for you this week? Yeah, we had a number of players who played well. Um, Obviously at different levels, we had a few guys in the reserves that really stood up uh, and a couple of guys at, at the higher level in the league that, that played good games again. Probably one of the standouts was, was Marlon Motlop, uh, playing reserves for West Adelaide. Uh, as, as most people probably know by now, he's, he's moved clubs playing with West uh, and it's been a real fresh start for him playing under Andrew Collins who's a, a fantastic coach with, with a super knowledge. Uh, Andrew's given him another sort of lease on life and he, he seems to be up and about. He had a fantastic game on the weekend. Really big GPS numbers, running hard, um, you know, pushing off half back, giving them some drive out of the back line, uh, and exactly what we've been looking for from him. So hopefully we can string, he can now string a few together. So it sounds like it's not just an attitude change from Marlon in terms of going to a new club, but a positional change as well, going to the half back flank as opposed to the, the half forward or the, the sitting deep in the pocket. Yeah, look, it's, it's another challenge for him. Um, it's probably easy to come in and play half back in a new side. Uh, you know, you can start your role as an accountable half-back player, and that's what Marlon's done. Uh, we know he can kick goals, we know he sneaks around the forward line and, and is a real goal sneak, but uh, he's just adding another string now, and, and it's a credit to him. Uh, he stood up at 31 possessions on the weekend uh, and was one of the best players for, for West Adelaide, so it's a credit to Marlon for, for the efforts he's putting in. Now, we also saw this weekend the Port Adelaide Magpies headed up to Sydney, as did the Power, and took on the East Coast Eagles in the Foxtel Cup. How do you actually judge the, the quality of competition given that while East Coast Eagles have been the premiers for two years in a row in the Sydney AFL competition, obviously it's coming from a perhaps a lesser standard than the SANFL? Yeah, it's interesting. I, I've coached in the Sydney Football League. I coached there for a couple of years. So I have seen the difference in standard um, and not taking anything away from their competition. Uh, there's a lot of people, that, a lot of uh, ex-South Australians, Victorians that do travel to obviously to New South Wales and live in Sydney that play in that league. Uh, but it doesn't match up against the SAFL as, as far as the quality of play goes. Uh, you know, the depth isn't there. They've got a number of super players that they do have in their side, but, but nowhere near the depth that Port Adelaide has. Uh, and that was shown in the score on the, on the weekend. How do we judge our players? Well, you know, it's tough. You've got to look at uh, opponents they're playing on, but we're also looking at simple things like how they're moving, how's their work rate. Um, you know, are they carrying out instructions on, on what we've been working on and, uh, you know, are they, are they improving in those areas? So we saw that. We had Butcher uh, playing down forward. Um, you know, being at the SCG, we had a bird's eye view of it. It was a fantastic venue. He played really well, moved well off the ball, um, had an interview halfway through a quarter, which we haven't seen done before, which was, which was quite unusual. Um, Mitch Banner, another solid game from Mitch, working through the midfield. Again, that's probably the hard one to, to tell against the opposition we had. Uh, and also Surgeon, who stood up, you know, kicked a couple of early goals and set the scene for Port Adelaide, and, and they went on from there to have a, a huge win. Matthew, thank you for your time. My pleasure.